Here's a quick tutorial on how to use the restore function within Windows XP using their built-in software called Windows Backup. To access the Windows Backup, you click on your Start button, you click on All Programs, you go to Accessories, and then normally the backup software is within the System Tools section. Now I know I keep saying the backup software, but from within the backup software you can either back up or restore. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how to restore using this feature. Now this assumes that we've been doing backups throughout the week and we actually have a file that we can go to to actually restore from. So the scenario would be, oh, I've, uh, I've, got, a I've got a file or two in my, my documents that I deleted accidentally and I need to restore them. And that's pretty important. Now, that happens from time to time. So you would use this feature. Uh, so the best way to do is to always use it with uh, always start in wizard mode this is pretty hand pretty easy and pretty intuitive click on the next button here and it actually asks you what you would like to do now you use the very same program to back up files but we again want to restore so we're going to click on the restore button and click on next now this assumes that there's uh, like I said there's files that you actually want to restore from and down the right hand side all I can explain is these are actually backup sets that I've done throughout the week or throughout the month and as you can see I named them you know Wednesday incremental backup and Tuesday incremental backup but there might be one that I'm particularly interested in like I want to go to my last full backup let's say because uh, there uh, there are some files within that that I'm interested in what I would do is click on that browse button and then I would click on browse again and I, I'm going to actually my F drive that's an external hard drive and as you can see I have a bunch of these backup sets now the way it works is it's like one big file with a bunch of files in it and the only way you can view what's in them is to use this restore function and you can see that they're actually I don't know if you can see this but the, this is the name and the, you can see the size of them and you know Monday is the day that I do a full backup so that's a 33 gig file that I'm after. So I'm going to restore the Monday full backup. I click on that, I click on OK, and the computer thinks a little bit, and it actually uh, starts to find it. You'll see that it shows up a little, a little darker, and that's this guy right here, the Monday full backup. All right, so if I want to look at the files within this backup set, within this big file that's compressed and has all of my other files in it, you double click it and then it starts to allow you, just like you would in Windows Explorer, to kind of drill down into the folders and into the directories so that you can do what you need to do. This is the C drive, here's my documents and settings, and what I'm doing is I'm double clicking. I'll double click on K Merchant, which is my my profile name, and then here's the My Documents folder. Uh, you can scroll down on the left hand side and double click the My Documents folder and from within there it's it's kind of big mine is so you'll see a bunch of different things in here you know all kinds of stuff that you you know that I can have that's on here that's really important to me let's say that um, if I was interested in the whole my documents folder all I would do is left click here and you'll see they automatically everything in my documents gets selected but that would take that's about 29 gig of information so I, I'm not really in 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 you know in, care about that right now so I'm gonna deselect that all button on the left hand side and let's say that I'm oh I don't know I'm I'm interested in my 2004 donations and my 2003 do, uh, tax information because I'm getting audited soon or something you know I don't know and I bought an old Ford Focus so let's say I'm interested in just these three folders I would click next to them click on next now there's one other thing that I want to do. What it tries to do is when it restores, it tries to put them in the original locations. And that again is in, in the My Documents folder. I may want not want to do that. I, I don't like to overwrite things. I, I like to uh, you know put them in, in different locations if I can. So normally what I do is click on Advanced. And what I'd like to do is click on an alternate location. I usually put them in a folder on my desktop. Now on my desktop, what I did is I created a, uh, and I'll browse for it, on my desktop, I created a, a folder called Restored Files. I just created it ahead of time. 
So I'll click on that, and now any those three uh, files or those things that I'm interested in are going to res be restored to my restored file folder. It kind of keeps it separate. It doesn't. It, you have no danger of of uh, of overwriting once you restore. And and I just like to keep things separate. That's personal preference, but I highly suggest it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's from um, uh, a little bit of experience that I've caused some problems before. Click on next, and one of the things it says, "Would you like to leave the existing files?" It's not a bad idea. Either one, either thing you want to do, you could replace the existing files. There should be no existing files in that restored folder because it's a brand new folder. I'm going to click on next. Uh, keep all the defaults here and click on finish. As you'll see, it starts to look at that big backup file. It starts to search it and it starts to look through um, the things that it's interested in and what I selected uh, for, for res restoration and it says restoring files. It restored 16 files. The sizes were 155 meg it looks like and um, or actually K. It's not really that big and you'll see that it's actually completed. You click on report and you'll, it'll actually see all the files that I did restore. That's kind of handy. Now if, if I would have done the whole folder it could take as long as two hours depending on how how big it is. Uh, you click on close and then you're all finished. Now you should see uh, if I go to my desktop uh, and I got a little bit of a mess here. I got a lot of stuff on my desktop. Um, if I go to my restored files you'll see it kind of keeps the directory structure within there. It goes to document, it creates a documents and settings folder, it creates, creates a profile name, and then it creates a my documents folder, so on. And then you'll see all my stuff for my tax information, all the things that I wanted restored just the way I wanted them. Um, and what I do is I typically, if I like what, I, what I'm after, I might move them uh, from here to my documents and uh, do what I need to do and overwrite them. I hope this has been helpful. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye.